The iceberg is a tool we use in systems thinking. What it's trying to describe is uh, actually a few things. Up here, we have the tip of the iceberg. Some people call this the event. If we're operating at the events level, or some people would call it the symptoms level, if we're operating based on what we see right in front of us, then we're operating at the tip of the iceberg level, and we are only in a position to react after the fact to what we can see. You go a little bit further under the surface here to the trends and patterns that created that situation, you're going to be better able to respond. Go even deeper to the structures and the designs and the behaviors that are causing the trends and patterns that ultimately result in the events is a design challenge. And then down here, you have the thinking that drove those designs, that created those patterns that ultimately ended up in an, in a, in an event. And that's where the transformation is. It's in the thinking. Now, a mental model is a term we use as systems thinkers. If you are a, an innovator, you would use the term paradigm. <coughs> if you are a cognitive linguist, you'd use the term frame. If you're a brain scientist, you would use the term mental map. It's literally the map of existing neural pathways in your brain. It's the sum total of everything you've thought about and all the connections you've made up until this moment.